Hey everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be doing an Elite character tier list. Now, I wanted to do Elite Seasons 1 through 5, but I could only find a tier list that only had the characters from 1 through 4, so I'm going to tell you guys where I would put the ones from Seasons 1 through 5, and I will create an image showing where I would put them at the end of the video. Let me know where you would rank these if you disagree with any of these. I know people had a big disagreement with one of my money heist ones, so I'm curious to see if anybody disagrees with this one too. But before we get into this, like this video, that does help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will be watching Heartstopper after this. That's going to premiere this Friday. I know I said I was going to watch Visa B next. I promise that's coming after Heartstopper, so be on the lookout for those. But for now, let's just get into this tier list. Okay, so I'm just going to go in order of how they have them set up. After Rebe, I will say exactly where I put the new season five characters as well. Malik, I'm going to put in trash. <laughs> Malik was just one of those characters that was written in to cause problems in other people's relationships. So I never like when characters are written in specifically for that. And he was the first offender of that. And then there were more of those as seasons four and five came along, as we know. I should say I have my tiers here. The top, the best of the best would be elite, obviously. Next tier, we love them. There are all right, cry okay, no, F tier is just trash. Next is Yurai. I actually really liked Yurai. Like he was a very sweet character. He was kind of in love with Carla. He had his own business, he was successful. I kind of wish he was more than a one season character. However, they didn't write him to do anything else besides anything that had to do with Carla and with Carla being written out of the show at the end of season three slash the short story, which you can go check out. I have those reactions on my channel. There wasn't really much else for him to do, so it made sense. However making it so that he gets Carla to get full control of her father's business and that would be the only way that he invests in it like that is chef's kiss and he was trying to help her when she was going through all those like drug problems and everything. I honestly, I'm gonna put him in We Love Them. I did love Uri. I kinda wish he was more integrated with the cast but I understand why he was only a one season character. Philippe is trash. We don't even need to get into why, like, he's a rapist. I don't care if they tried to write him to have a redemption story to help someone that got raped after the fact, he's still a rapist. I don't like him, he's trash, fuck you. Guzman, okay. So if we're talking about Guzman in seasons one through three, he would either be in a We Love Them or Elite. I don't know exactly what, however, <laughs> Season four, I like to just pretend like season four didn't happen, but if we're talking about the context of throughout the entire show, how I would rank these characters, season four, his character development went completely out of the frickin' window. The writers just threw away any development he had and put him right back to square one, hating Samu, putting him in this stupid love triangle with Samu and Ari, and it was just so unbearable to watch, and his motivations made absolutely no sense. And then he killed Armando, and then he just left after that. And then that was it. It was so bad. It was so bad. I could talk for so long about how bad season four is. I really want to just ignore that season for him. But if I had to do that for him, then I would have to do that for everybody, and I can't do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in We Love Them, because obviously I do. It's just what's keeping him out of Elite is that last season. Just, ugh, it was, it was honestly unbearable, and I feel bad for the actor that plays him. All right, next is Samu. He's an interesting one too. He, I, as I've said before, in seasons three, four, and five, he had little to nothing to do. After season two, pretty much all he did was just be a puppy dog for other characters. In season three, it was Rebecca. Season four, it was Ari. And then in season five, it was basically Ben Hameen. And it, like, if you can name anything else that he did besides being a puppy dog for Ben Hameen and giving Ari shit about her attraction to Yvonne, please let me know. Because I I can't think of one other thing. Oh yeah, he was like mad at Omar for no reason too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, it was it's, it's been his time to go for a while. I think that if he left the show show around the same time when Nano did, I think that I probably would have liked his character a little bit more. I'm gonna put him in there all right. Because he wasn't a bad character per se, and I didn't hate him, except for season four, obviously. I hated almost everybody in season four. <laughs> Overall, he was fine. He had some funny, like, every time he got pissed or like jealous about something, he would have the funniest angry faces and one-liners and stuff. So he's so petty all the time and I enjoyed that at least. So we're gonna put him in there, all right. This one is, I, I, is it obvious, Carla? I mean, she's an elite. I mean, she's total S tier. If you've watched any of my reactions from seasons one through three or her short story, you know she's one of my absolute favorite characters in the entire 
series. I don't think that needs an explanation as to why. I think everybody knows why everyone loves Carla. I mean, maybe it's, I've seen some people say that they hated Carla. She's one of those ones where I can understand that people love to hate, but I just love her. I didn't even give a fuck if she had villainous things going on and everything. She was just a lot of fun to watch. She had so many great moments. Her The writing for her was amazing. The actress got a show before I went downhill and good for her. Next it's Ander. Okay. Oh, I don't know where to put Ander. Okay. I do like the actor a lot. Aaron Piper, he's great. But we're not going on who I like as an actor. I, uh, we're going on the characters themselves. I don't know where to put him. I really liked him in certain scenes and I really hated him in other scenes. A lot of his story hinged on him and Omar's relationship. And as the seasons went on, that's pretty much all it was. And so the writers did the thing that they do with every relationship where they for an entire season make a perfectly good relationship have all this quarrels and breakups and then getting back together and all that crap i think that in season three it kind of made sense only because ander was kind of being a little shithead but him being a shithead kind of made sense because he was going through a lot in season three but then season four happened and i was like this is stupid <laughs> Again, I shouldn't be focusing on just season four, but I really loved him in season one. Season two, I can't even remember what he did, to be honest. Um, I want to put him in We Love Them, but he had so many screw-ups with Omar, and he kept fucking up his relationship with him and hurting him, so that makes me want to put him down in there all right, but I feel like I can't do that. Mm. I'm gonna put him in We Love Them. I think I like him more than Samuel. Maybe I have to go back and watch the whole series again, but I, I, for now, we're putting him in We Love Them. Okay, Valerio. I actually hated Valerio in season two. Like, I didn't care for him at all. I always thought the whole him and Lou storyline was so weird. In season three, he really got up there in characters that I actually really enjoyed. So, he unfortunately, again, he's pretty much just tied to Lou, and Lou left the show in season three, so so did he. I think that, honestly, they could probably put him back in the show and he could fit pretty well in it. I'll put him in, I'll keep him in there all right. He had some like pretty badass moments like with him and Lou's father and everything under the table, if we remember that. But then he also had the annoying scenes too, so we're gonna put him in there all right for now. I might change that, I don't know. Cayetana, the sole carrier of season four and five. Obviously, we're putting her in Elite. She is one of the few that was introduced after after season one that I would say is an amazing character. One of the only, actually. She had so much character development and she's one of the only characters in season four that they did not fuck up. Season five even, like she had a good go of it. She had a good story arc too. There wasn't one moment where I didn't like her besides when she hid the trophy for Polo because she was so smitten with him. I was like, girl, calm down. But it, I got why I understood. That might've been like the only time where I was like, I don't really like her, but definitely Lee. We love her. All right, Mencia. Uh, I think I'm gonna put her in... I'm gonna put her in We Love Them, I think. And by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort these all out too at the end as to like who who would be first in this category and who would be last. With her, I think she's the best of the four that were introduced in season four. I think that she had a lot more story and a lot more interesting things going on with her. I liked her character's attitude the most. She is the one that least annoyed me of the four new family members. <laughs> I guess let's just put it that way. Her storyline with Armando was very interesting to watch. Her storyline with Rebecca was fun. I like that, even though they completely fucked it up in season five for no reason. And also in season five, honestly, she didn't, I mean, she had the whole SIM card thing. She didn't know what to do with it, but then it didn't really go anywhere with her and more so went somewhere with Rebecca instead. So I still really like her character. I'm glad that she's not gonna be leaving the show. Ari, on the other hand, we're gonna put her in Krayoke No. I don't think I like her. Season four, the, the way to introduce four new family members and get you invested in the, to them is having something happen to one of them by the end of it. So I kind of liked that she was the center of that, kind of along with Mencia. However, she just cheats on people and that's it. There's, no, there's nothing really else to her character. I don't know if anybody else could tell me what she does. I don't, I don't really know. She wouldn't be in the trash tier, but definitely just like, 
slightly above that. All right, Omar, the character that they completely forgot existed at the end of half of season five. I really liked his character a lot. I think that his storyline with his parents was nice. I liked the whole starting off so bad and then it just gradually grew to a place of acceptance by season three. Ugh, seasons one through three were so good. I need to rewatch them again. And then also his relationship with Ander, obviously everyone was rooting for them, but then it kind of got messed up in seasons three and four. And and by season four, I was like, oh my gosh, all right, if you're just gonna end it, just end it at this point. In season five, he was trying to confide in Patrick, but then Patrick moved on somewhere else. He got into a fight with Samuel for no reason. There was nothing else for him. So they just forgot about him. He saw the dead body, he figured out what to do with it. And then after that, he like, disappeared. There was nothing else for him to do. He wasn't even in a full episode. He wasn't even in episode seven. In episode eight, the only time he came back was when Re Rebecca called him to see what was happening with Samuel. So regardless of how bad his storylines got, I still really liked him. I think a little bit more than Ander. And, and like I said, I'll sort these out at the end, but I'll put him in We Love Them. I don't think he's quite in elite territory with uh, Carla and Kai, but definitely in We Love Them. Patrick is an interesting one because Unlike most of the characters from season one where I eventually hated them or didn't like them or got annoyed by them, he's one that I initially hated, didn't think I would ever like him, and then I saw season five and his short story, and I actually like him a lot now. <laughs> I think that he in season four, and, and again, I've talked about this before, he was one of those ones where his only motivations were to hook up with people and break up boyfriends, and then he would get mad whenever the boyfriends got back together, and it's like, well, that, like, that was on you. And then there was nothing else to his character. But then in season five, I think he was one of the standouts of season five because he actually had a lot of character development, both in his short story and in season five. And his story arc with Yvonne and Cruz was one of the most interesting of the entire season. And I ended up actually rooting for him and Yvonne. He still had things that annoyed me that kind of carried over from season four, but not as much. I don't think I would put him in we love them category. I think he, I'm, I'm gonna put him in there all right. Maybe in season six, if he gets even better, then I'll, you know, I'll change that. I'm gonna keep him here for now, I think. Think. I might change that at the end of this video, who knows. Nadia! Nadia had the unfortunate demise of being a part of Malik's storyline in season three, just like Omar and Ander did. I don't think she was, she got as annoying as Ander and Omar did in season three, thankfully, even though she was kind of a part of that whole thing. I'm going to put her in, I'm gonna put her in elite. She was always there for her brother, even when her parents were, you know, being all homophobic towards him. She kind of found her voice again against them. That was a great storyline. I loved rooting for her and Guzman together. Yes, they fucked it up in season four, just like they fucked up everything in season four. She didn't have as many badass moments as Kai or Carla. She did have actually one of my favorite moments of the entire show, I think, with Lou when they called out the school and it was all over the death of Marina and calling out Polo and everything. Like, that was so badass. Okay, Polo. He's actually an interesting one. He's one of those ones that I love to hate. You kind of feel bad for them, you kind of feel maybe pseudo-villain type thing. I don't know. Like, you, I don't know if you would really call him a villain. He, there was so much nuance to his character, and I don't think I fully appreciated him until season three, when it was about him eventually dying. Like, I didn't think I would actually be upset with him dying. I remember thinking after season two, I was like, there's no way that someone doesn't kill him. And he also had kind of the same thing that Marina did in season one, where he was just ruining all of his relationships in season three, just like Marina did in season one. He was with Carla and Christian, and I loved them together and then Carla flipping her parents off and then all three of them running away together. That was fun. And then I loved him, Valerio, and Kai together too. Once he was out of the show, I felt like something was missing. But then again, Carla and Lou were both also out of the show. So I can't really say it was just because of him. I'm gonna put him in We Love Them. I might change that. But I, for now, that's what I'm gonna do. Nano! I did not really like him. I think that he was pretty much the reason why Marina got killed in season one. 
He got her into all that trouble. Granted, she, you know, went along with it, but he was doing his little emotional manipulation thing because he was so in love with her and whatever. And then he was just like on the run from the police and he was written out pretty beautifully, like in the rain and holding onto the picture of him and his mom and everything. Like that was cute. I liked that a lot, but I'm gonna put him in cry. Okay, no, he definitely would be, I'm, I'm just gonna do this now. He definitely would be better than Ari for sure. When I have to think about if I liked him or not, I don't know. He just made all the bad wrong decisions. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? So cry okay now for him. Okay, Marina, she, she's gonna be a polarizing one. I, I know already because so many people hated her. <laughs> in my opinion, I loved Marina. I was so obsessed with her. Whenever she was getting into fights with people, like bitching out people, saying all these sassy comments, ruining all these relationships, I was like, it was a mess, but it was so much fun to watch. Again, I'm, I'm not ranking it just based on the actress and actresses, but the actress that played her was so great. She was, she was so good in, in that role. But we're not ranking on that, we're just ranking on the characters. She made season one so enjoyable. I would feel wrong putting her anywhere below We Love Them. I don't know if she would be quite be an elite. And it's tough too when a character only lasts one season it, It's hard to put them in the same category as one as those that have been in them for at least a few So I'm gonna keep her and we love them that might change Christian I really liked Christian He was the kind of the comedic relief of season one and season two when he was in it I thought there would they would do more with him getting run over it kind of just was implied that Carla's dad ran him over or someone that Carla's dad knew ran him over and then kind of shipped him off somewhere and then that's how he was really out of the show and I fully expected him to come back at some point, but he never did. However, he didn't leave as much of a hole as people like Carla, Lou, Nadia, Polo did. There were plenty of other characters that still had that kind of comedic relief type of thing going on with them, like Lou, for example, Valerio kind of, Rebecca. I'll put them in We Love Them. There's a lot of people in We Love Them. Oh my gosh. I might take some characters out of this and put them down in there, all right? I have a couple ideas right now, but let's just uh, finish this up first. Next is Lou. Okay, this is obvious. Elite. Everyone is in agreement with that, yes? I believe so. Like, I think everyone knows that Lou was the absolute best character. She had the best character development, best story arc. She was so fun to watch. Best part about season three, easily. I hated her in season one, but then she's one of those ones where she grows on you and then you kind of love to hate her in season two and then you just love her by season three. <sighs> They're never gonna get a character to compare to her. Next up is Rebecca. So she is one that she's either gonna be in We Love Them or Elite. Thing with her is she's one of those ones where she's rumored to not come back for season six, which is kind of upsetting, along with Kai, Samuel, Omar, and then someone said uh, Philippe might not be coming back either. Basically exactly what they did after season three, just a complete cast reboot. And then we saw how bad season four was, so I'm really hoping that it doesn't veer off into horrible territory like season four did. With Rebecca, she has always been fun to watch. I love her attitude, love her style, badass, not afraid to get down dirty, punch people. She's always getting into trouble or whatever. Ooh, I don't know. Should I put her in a lead or should I put her in We Love Them? Again, with most characters, season five, they kind of bogged her down a little bit. If she is leaving a good wrap up in a short story before season six, I hope that her and Kai together start that nail business that they were talking about and it just flourishes. Like that's what I want. If they're both leaving, I want them to have a perfect end ending like that. And I want Kai to just stay with Felipe and you know, get married and just have a beautiful life. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep her in a leave for now. All right, so now, this is where I don't have their pictures here, but I'm gonna go into the characters in season five now. I'll, I'll just like edit in their pictures into it. So first up, I'm gonna put Isadora. Isadora, I think in the first half of the season, I was like, why is she here? What are her motivations? Why is she so obsessed with Philippe? This makes no sense, and it didn't. However, I kind of just dropped that like halfway through the season. I was like, all right, let's just forget about that, whatever. She was badly written into the show. Bad writing, season four and five, we all know. However, when the halfway point started and her and Kai had that talk in her hotel room, that's when I feel like she kind of did a 180 and she started being a lot more interesting. She started having things that made me want to get to know her more, made me want to get to know her character more, see what she was going to do next, stuff like that. Obviously she had that awful scene in episode 7, but I do like that in episode 8 she went and reported it. 
I will put her in, honestly, I'm gonna put her in We Love Them as well. I'm gonna put Cruz in They're All Right. There was times where I really liked him, especially at the end, but then there was times where I really hated him. And then for Yvonne, honestly, he was so annoying sometimes, like with the whole Ari and Patrick thing and him showing Ari that he voted to date her right after him and Patrick had that like beautiful scene together in episode five. If he didn't go back to Patrick and have Cruz kind of talk him down and have that moment where he embraced with Patrick at the end of season five, he would honestly be in cryo Okay, no. However, I like that we got a, we kind of got a story before about a, someone who believed that they were straight, but they didn't really know. And they kind of were experimenting and coming to terms with who they might be either being bisexual or gay or, you know, whatever Yvonne is or however he identifies. We never saw it fully explored as much as we did Yvonne. And I really, 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 really liked that they did that with him, and I think it was done beautifully. I would put Yvonne in We Love Them too. Oh my gosh, I'm putting everyone in We Love Them. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna put in Bilal. The thing is with Bilal, they could have done so much more with Bilal and Omar, but they just forgot about both of them by the end of the season. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you could have done something more with these guys that were after Bilal, and then Omar gets roped into it, and then you don't know what's gonna happen with that, but they just dropped it completely. If they did more with that, I think Bilal possibly could be in there right? But I'm gonna put him in Cray okay, No. So I'm not gonna put her in this, but if we were, if we were doing Spectora, I would put her in We Love Them. She was great. I, I'm mad that she wasn't in season five. I don't think she was in season four either. I liked her a lot. <laughs> Let me just fix this real quick. I'm going to take out some people out of We Love Them. I'm going to put Mencia in there, all right? Fine, I'll put Marina in uh, They're Alright. Fine, 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 fine. Whatever. I really like that she's going to the top of They're Alright, though. I feel like everyone's gonna, like, give me shit for putting your Ryan. We love them. But I really liked his character. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like he was just too good for Carla. We like characters like that. It's such a nice change of pace. And that, that's why I liked him so much. I'll keep him in We Love Them, but we're gonna put him down here. Okay, let's do the full moving around of characters. I'm putting Lou as the best character in the entire show. And Carla is a a close second for me. Oh, I want to put Nadia as third, but I really like Kai. I didn't think I would like her as much in season three, but then season four, she carried season four so hard. So I feel like I feel like it's wrong putting her anywhere below three. I'll keep it like that. Uh, Nadia is a close fourth, and then I'll put Rebe in. Do I want to put Rebe in, in a leader? We love them. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a switch. I'm gonna make a switch. I'm putting Guzman up in Elite, and I'm putting Rebe down in We Love Them. This would be how I would rank characters in Elite. I'm putting Guzman in fifth because his fourth season story arc was terrible, and I hated him in that season. In that season, but he's one of the best characters. I will put Rebe at the top of We Love Them. Honestly, I'm gonna put Polo next after her, then Omar then Christian, then Ander, then Uri. In the There Are Rights here, I'm gonna put Marina first, Valerio next, then Mencia, then Patrick, and then Samuel. Okay, okay, no, I think that's fair. We'll keep them like that, and then I'll put Bilal. And then, oh fuck, where did I put, I don't remember where I said I would put Isadora, Cruz, and Yvonne. I think I put Isadora and Yvonne and we love them. Okay, so if I did that, I would put Yvonne above Ander, and I would put Isadora in the middle of Ander and Uri. So Isadora second to last, Yvonne, fourth to last. I would put Cruz in there all right. I would put him above Samuel, but below Patrick. And then in the trash tier, yeah, I guess Malik was better than Philippe. So I'm gonna put up a graphic now. Hopefully it looks good of where I actually rank all these characters. Let me know if you agree with any of these, if you disagree with any of these. Do you think I got it like right on the head? I don't know. I wish I had like an actual tier list for season five as well, but I'm gonna do my best to make it look professional and nice. I'm worried about season six now because after season three, they had like half the cast leave and now half the cast is gonna leave again potentially. So I saw they were introducing five new characters. We'll see how it happens. I don't know. This has been my tier list ranking. I hope you liked it. Like this video if you did. Like uh, like this video if you didn't, please. <laughs> Even if you disagree, can you just like it anyways? Thanks. I'm going to be watching Heartstopper this weekend, so those will be out soon, and then I will be continuing on with Visa V. You guys just keep recommending shows for me to watch, and I will look through them. I'll probably put another poll up after I'm done with Visa V. But in the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Bye!